Sarity here and welcome to My Thought Mondays. Uh, so, of course, my thoughts, first of all, come to my thoughts of the weekend, which consisted of me going to see Deadpool on Friday and How to Be Single on Sunday, both of which were fantastic movies, uh, and both of which exceeded my expectations. Let me just say that right off the bat. Um, I don't want to give any spoilers away. Um, but, uh, don't take your children to Deadpool. Please don't take your children to Deadpool. Unless you don't care that your child will see flat out sex. Um, hear profanity every uh, five to ten seconds, probably? Don't remember there being a whole hell of a lot of break between the, uh, the fucks and the shits and all that. So, um, if you don't mind your children seeing flat out sex in multiple scenes, uh, lots of naked boobs, uh, there's even a uh, shadowed shot of dick. It's Deadpool. If you didn't already know this, you shouldn't be seeing the movie anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. That's fourth wall breaking. And again, if you didn't already know that, you probably shouldn't be seeing the movie. Unless you're new to the universe of Marvel and you want to experience all of it, and then by all means, as long as you're prepared for what Deadpool is, go see it. Um, yeah. Um, so, How to Be Single was what I thought was going to be a movie basically about partying and being single through sleeping around. Uh, spoiler alert, it's it's more about finding yourself, which was really beautiful uh, as a message. And yes, I went to go see How to Be Single on Valentine's Day. You know what? Because I went with my sister and I went with my mother and all three of us single ladies had a great time. What surprised me was that there were quite a few couples that were in the theater. It was like, does this start this awkward conversation of, um, you know, I really didn't want to do this today, but did this movie bring up any feelings that you might have that, you know, maybe we should find ourselves and, and see other people? And uh, I really hope that's not why couples went to see this and they just went to see it because they thought it'd be a cool movie to see on Valentine's Day or just beautifully ironic or whatever. Hopefully that's why they did it. But you have to wonder. <laughs> Uh, in addition to my movie seeing weekend, I got Unraveled, which episode, first episode coming this week. I'm excited. Uh, Unravel is adorable and beautiful. And Yarny is my new favorite character of things. And so I started making plushies. Yes, I literally got the game like two days ago and yes I'm already making plushies shut up I like to sew and I had literally all of the materials except the red yarn already so yeah. I'm making one about that big to go in my car because I have to have him with me um I have him actually where are you oh. Here's the guy going in my car. He's got his little string because that's how I'm gonna I'm gonna tie him up in my car. I'm gonna I'm gonna put him put him like this in my car if I can get his hands to stay. I might have to put some more yarn there, but have him hanging like he's climbing up like he does in the game, and he's so cute. Um, I do need to go get some white yarn for his apples because I thought I had some already, and apparently I don't. But oh my god, isn't he the cutest thing ever? And I love him so much. And I'm going to make probably quite a few of them because I got an entire thing of yarn from Walmart because they don't, they don't have small things when you want to craft at Walmart. But yeah, um, he will also eventually have his little tail, you know, because he's got a tail in the game. But um, I was just kind of making sure that he stayed together and all of his little pieces we're together, but isn't he so cute? He's little Yarny. I love him. I uh, will probably put him in my car today um, and finish him up when I have 
my white yarn because he's cute and I want him to be with me in always forever and yes so look forward to unravel this week um, I finally got Slime Rancher to record also so look forward to that this week um, more Walking Dead I think and uh, me, me exploding multiple times in um, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes because I decided to try that without Eris and with a different friend um, who you saw in last week's uh, vlog for My Thought Mondays. So Kat Campy joins me in that episode and I asked her to study the bomb manual so she understood what I was trying to say because she doesn't have the game, all she had was the bomb manual and I guess she got distracted doing other things for the extra hour that I ended up having to run errands. So I exploded three times. It was fantastic. And it was fun. But I did not solve another bomb. So if you don't want to see me fail lots and lots of times and not actually succeed, don't watch that video. But yeah. Ugh. Yarny, I'm going to have to fix your butt. His butt's falling down. If you can kind of see that, maybe. His, his butt's kind of coming off. I think that's because I kind of made him sit when I was making him. So maybe I'll just have him sit in my car. I don't know. I'll give him like a little yarn swing or something. He can hang from my mirror like that. He's also having some problem of... Uh, his his inner skeleton is coming apart despite the mass amounts of hot glue that I've been using to keep him together. But yes, there's Yarny. You can go ahead and sit there for the rest of the video. I'm still going running because I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere out there has seen my little Runner 5 vlog video, a post-apocalyptic something or other. I don't know. Um, yeah, so more of that running. Um, the episode, I guess, that I'm on for that is episode three or four. Apparently there's a child I have to go rescue. And I'm not in shape enough to actually run for the entire program. Nor do I feel the want or need to actually go running when I'm doing this at 3 o'clock in the morning. But I'm very, 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 very worried that tonight's run, or this morning's run? I guess it would be this morning's run for you guys. Tonight's run for me. Um, but I'm very, very worried that I'm going to uh, go into an asthmatic fit while I'm doing that, because my maternal instincts will probably kick in in a child being lost in the middle of zombie wilderness. And I will probably run very, very bad. And my lungs are not in... My lungs are actually in worse shape than I am physically. Because my lungs give out before my legs do. Which, I mean, says something, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bigger person. Yeah. So, it's... It sucks, yes, that my lungs aren't in as good a shape as I am. Not that I'm in the greatest of shapes. Because round, I hate to break this to you guys, to you guys, it's not a healthy shape. I mean, yes, there are certain conditions that I don't want to get into and everything, but, you know, in general, round is not a healthy shape. It is a shape. But I want to be healthy, and so I'm doing lots of things to be healthy. And if this inspires you guys out there to be more healthy, then awesome. Um, if not, I'm not here to judge. I mean, I can't really judge. I don't, I'm trying to cut soda out of my life and it's very, very difficult because I crave the fizzy stuff, but it's not the same without like sugared syrup in it. So it's difficult. I have another LARP event next week. So before my next My Thought Mondays for you guys, um, 
it's a battle event, so that should be fun. Um, my shoulder is all better, yay, from whatever the hell happened. I'm still not entirely sure if it was like a pinched nerve or if I just like moved ever so slightly wrong and I just jammed my um, my joint somehow. I don't know, but it finally popped. I think the day after my Thought Mondays came out last week. So Tuesday, it's either Tuesday or Wednesday, but it's completely better. I can move and be awesome. And so I'm hoping that I can actually go and kick some ass in battle next week. Um, I will do my best to get some footage of me and Eris and possibly Eris's husband um, actually doing some battle, which would be awesome but I don't know how comfortable they'll be in the LARP environment if I have a camera. Um, not, the, not that this group is super into being in an environment or in character, which is one of the things that I was hoping for in my LARP experience. So I will be looking into other LARPs in the future. Um, probably slightly smaller groups because the story aspect and the getting into the character is part of what I love as an idea of LARP. Um, but that's a that's a conversation we'll have next week because next week is LARP video week. Um, if you guys are enjoying the LARP video, there's only one up at the moment. Yes, uh, if you guys are enjoying that kind of idea of me doing LARPs and stuff, I would be more than happy to start a regular upload of LARP type videos. Um, I'm not sure how often they'll be able to be regularly just because I don't have a lot of experience with LARPs yet. Um, but on the occasion that I do make my first buffer weapon, I would be more than happy to make a video tutorial kind of a walkthrough of what I'm doing. Um, I would also be more than happy if you guys are interested because I do make costumes. Um, part of what I went to college for was to learn how to do that kind of thing. So, um, if you guys would like to see me make some more period accurate type costumes, um, obviously not with traditional period medieval type sewing methods because I love my serger and I love my sewing machine and I can get an entire dress done in a day. Uh, but if you guys would like to see that kind of stuff, go ahead and leave a like or a comment. Um, message me shout out on all of my other videos that you want more LARP things or more tutorial type things. Whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I will be uploading my little Yarny. Um, not this guy because he is wire based and the other ones will be plush based. But I do have in the works a tutorial video on making a plush Yarny. Um, if you guys want to see a wire tutorial, I can't do that for you because I was so excited about making him that I didn't even take pictures of the process. I made a wire skeleton. I hot glued all of the pieces together to make sure that they were sturdy, although apparently not well enough. And I literally wrapped him in yarn. A lot of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys just hate it when you've got this train of thought that just for lack of a better term, leaves the station. You're like, I was supposed to be on that trip. Oh, well, goodbye. Yep. <laughs> um, I was talking about LARPs and Yarny and tutorials. Um, maybe that was the end of the thought train. Yeah. Guess that was the end of my thought train for my thought Mondays. My train left the station and it did not take me with it. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave it a like. Leave comments. Do whatever you feel like doing. Subscribing would be awesome. Great for my ego, great for the channel. Um, but yeah. <laughs> this is Nick Sarity signing off. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Sure.